Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is another video I'm making. It's about a virtual network using Active Directory Domain Services. This I have had finally gotten set up since my hard drive is giving me a bit of issues and it's kind of, I guess, hard on one hard drive to run your main system and two virtual machines, installing Windows on one and setting up Active Directory on the other. But now I'm all ready and network seems to be in place. I have here, this will be the client. And this is, well, I guess, server. Even though that's a server up there, that's not really that. So, what I have to finish doing here is setting the DNS server. allow me to connect to the domain name. It's just kind of just for fun to make a little virtual network, but I guess if somebody goes to practice and they only have one computer, it's a good computer, they can learn, I guess, some networking practices using virtual machine. So here, I'm going to close all this, and we have our username client client one actually. I was going to have another one set up, but as I say, the hard drive is well two would be better. As I say, it's hard to run on one drive. So I'm gonna, hopefully this will work right. Uh, yes, domain connectivity. And it seems to be working well. Guess I have to restart the virtual machine. So we have a connected system here. And computer, or the virtual computer, is now added. It seems I was told once to add the computer, then connect with the username to that, and that had issues because usually the computer is added to the list once you connect it. Seems so. So I guess this can be a very good tool for networking. As you see, they only have about a gig of RAM each. I could have made it two gigs each, just for running two systems. Probably would have helped speed. As you see, it's connected to domain. Yes, the Windows 8 was default Italian. I had to change that. So, seems like we are on this domain here and everything seems to be working well currently logged in so my active directory virtual network is working good and well that's it, I guess. Server 2012 is quite nice. Oh yeah, and there's a little web server running. You can also quickly pop that up on the virtual network. Virtual servers, virtual clients, virtual network. How much fun. Running a system inside a system. I guess it can help learn. 
It'll be good actually to create dedicated servers that are virtual. So if you have a main system with like two quad cores, for example, you could split it out into say three virtual machines or four I guess four dual core virtual machines and then you could directly connect them to your router and host them off with a beautiful Hyper-V. So yeah, it works perfectly. The, my main OS is connected to the virtual switch and so is everything else. All assigned DHCP addresses from the router itself. It seems the virtual switch works really well, like a well proper switch should. So it makes networking and actually hosting off of a virtual machine directly into the internet a easy thing to do, which would be great for servers. So yes, this is my little demonstration of my virtual network, my virtual Active Directory network. So, yeah, have a nice day, and thanks for watching.